hello and welcome to this video and one where I thought I would update the get to know me thing because one of the very first videos, it may have been the first video I uploaded to YouTube was a get to know me, a sort of Q&A kind of here's some information about me, I hope you like me and my channel kind of video uh, but that's now quite out of date as I've been on YouTube for a few years now and lots have changed in those years. So as I said, I thought it was time to update. Let's address the massive elephant in the room in that the likelihood of you seeing this background much past this video is quite slim because as I'm filming this, I am pre-filming this a month or so before you're going to see it. We own a house now, so we won't be in this flat come the new year, which is when this video is coming out. So there you go. Just a little caveat there to the location. Um, I can finally sit on a sofa that doesn't have a blanket on it. I'm quite excited. So I've had a look at some sort of typical questions that might come up in these kind of videos and thought I would just run through them but if there's anything that I don't cover that you're interested in please let me know in the comments below and I will come back to you as and when I can with some answers or I'll just add them into another video at some point. Uh, so the first and most obvious question is who am I? So I'm Faye, I am a 31 year old Female, now based in Sheffield. When I started the channel I was in London, but I'm now based in Sheffield, um, which is in South Yorkshire in the UK, and have essentially got a YouTube channel as my creative outlet, as what I do for work doesn't really give me that part that I like for my personality. Another important thing that if you have just stumbled onto this video, that you probably would want to know is what does my channel consist of? I guess if we're, you know, putting me in a box that YouTube likes to do, I am probably a lifestyle vlogger, but I don't really see myself in that way. I basically film whatever's going on that I think might be interesting in my life. So pretty much every Sunday, you will see a vlog from me, normally of what I've been getting up to at the weekend or travel. Me and my husband, we are big fans of traveling. So we have in the past gone on several holidays a year, but the pandemic and 2022, which was a crazy year for us, has dampened that down a little bit. But as you're watching this, if you're watching it the day that it goes live, we are in the Caribbean on our honeymoon. So those videos will be coming up shortly. Um, and I'm very excited having current me, filming me hasn't been on that holiday yet. So I'm very excited for it and can't wait to show you what we get up to. My channel will consist of vlogs, travel vlogs. I go to the theater a lot. I'm a big musical theater fan, try and go as often as I can. Um, so there'll be a lot of trips to the theatre and what I think of shows and things like that. And now, as I said, that we live in Sheffield, it'd be a lot more of the touring productions compared to West End productions, which are on my channel at the moment from when I lived in London and going to the West End was a lot easier. I'm also an avid reader, so there is a fair amount of book content. I do uh, monthly wrap-ups of everything that I read. Um, I've started doing little challenges, so there's a couple of 24 or 48 hour reading challenges. I did a try a chapter towards the end of last year. So that kind of thing is also going to be on my channel and they tend to be Wednesday kind of videos. So how it works is I upload every Sunday and as I said that tends to be vlogs and then I upload every other Wednesday which one of those will always be a book review and then the other ones uh, might be a haul, they might be a review of something. So I've done the Odeon Limitless card, we've done a HelloFresh review, a Gusto review, that kind of thing. Um, and just interesting things that I feel might be of use or might be 
that someone might find kind of interesting I try and share with you so that generally is what's on my channel so if that sounds interesting then click the subscribe button and join join me here part of the reason I'm filming this is because I've grown more than I thought I would I'm still very very Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm still very small, but I've grown quite a bit. And certainly since I filmed the last one, there's more of you who may want to know what I get up to. The other important thing is probably to introduce the other key players in my channel. Uh, the main one, I've already kind of mentioned him, is my husband, Pete. We've been together for, at this point, 11 years, married for about six months as I'm uploading this video and yeah he appears quite often because he doesn't have a choice uh so here are a couple of our wedding photos just because i can um and i'm still very giddy about that day uh the other people that you'll probably see reasonably regularly or no maybe not quite as often as when we lived in london is my brother adam he is still based in london at the moment um he is my older brother and the person i tend to go to the theater with um, so you'll see him appear every now and again and lastly and don't tell Pete but maybe most important is uh, Jeff who you saw at the beginning of the video who disappeared to go and sit by himself in, in, at the end of the sofa but he will also be in these videos tends to be in the background I tend to talk to him a lot he is a West Highland Terrier he is my absolute bestie which I know is sad and he is seven years old we got him just before he turned one the family that he was with were about to have a child and had several dogs so he was the last one in so he was the first one out which was their loss and my gain so this is is I mean the star of the show this is Jeff want to go back to sit on the other end of the sofa there you go then Good boy. So yeah, they're the, they're the main people, or the main players in my channel. Uh, you may also bump into my mum and dad occasionally, some of my other family members or friends, um, but those three are the ones that appear more often than not, and of course, my own self. So one of the questions that I like knowing about YouTubers um, those who aren't full-time obviously is what they do for a living what their actual job is what they do day in day out when they're not making videos so for me I work at a university uh, I still work at the one I worked in in London and um, luckily for me I can work remotely um, because I work with apprenticeship programs and a lot of what I do is I guess you'd call them progress reviews with apprentices and their employers so it's shorter meetings more regularly so it's harder to do that in an office anyway so I've been very lucky that I can continue working from home since the pandemic which to be honest when I first got sent home it was weird but now I think it would be strange being back in an office that's what I'm doing I'm essentially an administrator I support the students through all of their processes um, and I do enjoy what I do um, and I've been doing it for a while so I'd like to think I was quite good. Um, certainly people are very kind when it comes to what they say about me. But as I said earlier, it's not the most creative and there's always been a small part of me and a small part of my brain that needs something like that to do. Um, something to occupy it a little bit. So this is where YouTube comes in. And for those of you that don't know, because a lot of you probably come from Twitter and from Pete's Twitter, uh, he is the uh, COO, so what's that, the Chief Operations Officer at Endpoint, um, which is a esports company, they have teams and things like that, but for me to go into any more detail than that would be quite embarrassing for me because I don't always understand what he does. Uh, but if you're interested, his Twitter is linked in the description below. Um, and lead you to all of his fun things. Uh, incidentally, my Instagram and Twitter are also linked there as well. If you ever want to come and join us, I tend to post pictures of my dog on Instagram. Yes, I'm that person. 
So then, just to end this video, because I don't want it to go on for too long, I thought I would just do a couple of my favourites, because those kind of things help you get a good picture of a person. So to start, we'll do, and I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, because I've set the questions, but we'll do favourite book, film, and, you know, musician, musical artist. The latter two of those are easier than the book, so we'll start with film. My favourite film is 500 Days of Summer. I adore it. It's so much of a comfort film. I like how it's a love story, but it's not, and there's just lots of nuances to it. I just think it's very cleverly filmed. Um, I am also a huge Disney fan, so I could have picked one of those. But 500 Days of Summer, for some reason, is always the one that if someone asked me, or if someone put a gun to my head, that would be the one that would come out. Uh, favourite musician band, that kind of thing does change but recently and for a, an extended period of time my favourite artist is George Ezra. I find his music just very uplifting and very upbeat. Um, we actually chose one of his songs for our first dance at our wedding and Adam, my brother, always forgets who he is so it's fun. Now favourite book is incredibly difficult for me. I'm very picky about my books I don't give a lot of five stars if we're rating them because although I enjoy lots and lots of books to get a five star from me there has to be something a bit unexpected about it um, so I think I might have to give you my top three on favourite books and I'd like to reread all of well two of them I reread one of those last year um, to see if I still like them as much but Ele Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine I really enjoyed that book both times I've read it. Um, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn just... I was so absorbed in that that I didn't want to put it down and basically told Pete to go away when we were on holiday because I just wanted to read it all. And probably the one by John Mars. I just think that's a really clever concept and I really like seeing it from lots of different people's perspective. Um, it's all about um, a DNA test that decides who your soulmate is your the one so it's interesting to see how it can split couples and things like that and one of the characters is a serial killer which is always fun let's be really british and talk about the seasons um so if we're going seasons or holiday season my favorite season is summer i like the warm weather i like to be able to wear a dress without a cardigan i'm quite cold normally so it makes a nice change but i will say that when it gets too warm in the UK, it's not quite so nice. When I'm on holiday, it's lovely. But in the UK, we're not designed out. Houses and things are not made for hot weather, so it's not quite as comfortable when I'm trying to work. But summer is definitely my favourite time of year. But saying that, my favourite holiday has got to be Christmas. I'm a huge Christmas fan. I'm very, very fortunate and lucky that my parents have always given us such amazing Christmases, so it's instilled in me the the Christmas love and I cannot wait to fill this new house with Christmas tat. Ah, oh, it's gonna be brilliant and Pete, Pete doesn't know what's gonna hit him. Then if we go on to actual holidays and dream holiday destinations, we're ticking one of those off. As I said earlier, we're currently on our honeymoon as this video goes live. Um, and the Caribbean is a place that I have wanted to go to for a long time so that's that one ticked off. But other dream holidays, to be honest anywhere that I haven't been yet is a dream holiday but if I was to whittle it down I'd love to go on safari in Africa. We haven't done any of the African countries yet but sort of safari in South Africa or something like that would be good. It was also a contender for our honeymoon but the time of year and things like that didn't quite work out. We've never been to South America, so maybe somewhere there to tick that continent off as well. I think they're the only two that we haven't been, other than, you know, like Antarctica. And one that possibly may not happen because, well, we'll see whether I can convince Pete, but there are three Disney parks that I have not been to yet, and I really want to go to all of them as a sort of bucket list thing. So uh, we haven't done California. Um, which I'm desperate to get to, is the one that Walt actually was in. We haven't done Hong Kong, which to be honest is probably the one I know the least about. Um, 
and we haven't done Shanghai which is the home of Tron I know it's going to Disney World but that's where the original one was and I think they've got some other really cool lands I can't remember whether it's Shanghai or Hong Kong that's getting like Zootopia land and stuff um, but I'd really like to go to those as well so the last questions to wrap up this video still favourites um, are again YouTube based so my favourite YouTubers that I watch currently I'm I basically have two sections of things that I watch. Um, I have, well, three sections. I have book related stuff, Disney related stuff, and then what we would class as the sort of lifestyle sphere. Uh, so if I pick one from each, I'm really enjoying Drinking by My Shelf for the book tube one. It will be that or probably what Victoria read. I'll link all these channels below if you're interested in any of them. For the Disney content, I feel a bit ashamed that I have to go for the big ones, but I do enjoy Tim Tracker and then Adam Hatton's vlogs. Adam Hatton's vlogs when these with Gary C just make me laugh a lot. And then for the lifestyle-y ones, probably gravitate more towards Brogan Tate and Brummy Mummy of Two. They're probably the ones that when their videos come up I get I'm most keen to click on. With an honourable nod to Carrie Hope Fletcher, who is a theatre performer um, she doesn't post as much on YouTube as she used to um, but again I very much enjoy her videos and she was actually the person who got me into watching YouTube which then got me into doing this so she obviously has to have some sort of honourable nod there. Um, so the last question and the one that I found probably the hardest when I to think of an answer when I was writing these or when I was coming up with these is my favourite video that I've posted slash the one I'm most proud of. Now the reason I find it difficult is not because I don't like my own content because that's not true but I'm a bit of a perfectionist so I can always see where I can improve things and things don't always turn out quite how I want them to in my head and all of that kind of stuff but I think the videos I'm most proud of are some of the travel ones that we've done the sort of trips we've done in the UK so like the date night in Birmingham and things like that those are fun ones um, and I'm also very the ones I'll probably gravitate towards and watch the most are gonna be my Hindu video and our wedding one to be quite honest um, but as I say the ones I'm most proud of are probably the travel ones because that's when I started my channel where I thought we would be going but obviously I started just before a global pandemic so that cut short a lot of travel and then obviously when it's come up, come back in 2022 we had a few things going on because we got married, we moved to Sheffield, we've bought a house and all of that kind of stuff so is hoping that 2023 is a little bit more peaceful and a bit more travel can be done but yeah um so there you go i've probably witted on for a long time um we'll see what happens when i edit this but i hope you've enjoyed that video i hope you've enjoyed getting to know me just that little bit more um, but as i said at the beginning if there's anything else you'd like to know that i haven't answered please just pop it in the comments and i'll get back to you when i can um, so on that note I'm going to end this one here so if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye